guys, it's monthly favourites time again and I feel like I've got a good collection of favourites this month so I'm going to get started because there's quite a few and I'm going to start with the beauty bits and the first favourite that I have is the nail varnish that I'm wearing at the moment which I have actually only just put on a few days ago but I absolutely love the colour and it's just really nice for summery weather to like just wear a bit of a brighter nail because I always wear a nude or a red. Those are my two colours that I always wear. So I've kind of like switched it up a bit and I've gone for this kind of like pop of pink. I don't know how you do describe it, like a, it's quite a bright pink. It's the Barry M Sunset Daylight Curing Collection and it is in the shade Pinking Out Loud. And I really like this formula. I think this is about four pounds or something but the formula lasts so well and it doesn't chip and you can do loads of washing up and kids baths and showers and that type of thing and that's what I look for in a formula in a nail varnish, something that is long lasting because I hate painting my nails. So this one is really great and I would definitely recommend it, especially if you like a pastel-y kind of colour for the summer. Next up I have an old favourite actually which I am revisiting and absolutely loving again and it is the La Roche-Posay Amphilios XL Anti Brilliance Anti Shine Sun Cream. It's for your face and it's tinted, which means that you don't have to wear like a base layer of foundation, which in the summer or when it's really hot like it has been in England recently, is so nice because you don't feel like sticky, you don't feel like you've got anything on and it still gives you a bit of coverage to even out your skin tone, which is really nice. This is coming to the end of its life, as you can see, and I'll definitely be repurchasing this again and I couldn't recommend it highly enough. Another from La Roche-Posay for the hot weather is this sun cream. It's the Anthelios, I don't know if I'm saying that right, Anthelios um, Invisible Fresh Mist Spray and it comes in this little canister which is so handy because you can just chuck it in your handbag even if you've got a small handbag. Factor 50 which I'm pregnant, Steph's a pale ginger and we have a toddler so it's got to be factor 50 in our household and it's just a handy size to just keep in your handbag for days where it's like unexpected sun or you don't want to carry around a massive tube and what I really like about this is that it's a spray so you don't get sticky, you still get like a, a proper coverage, like it's safe but you don't have to like touch sticky sun cream which I really like and also Grayson finds it fun <laughs> being sprayed with sun cream so that's handy too because if anybody has a three-year-old they will know that applying sun cream to a three-year-old is pretty much a workout if I'm honest. Next I have another old favourite actually, I think they've slightly changed this since I have used it in the past but it is the Benefit Gimme Brow and this is like a little kind of almost like a mascara for your eyebrows, um, it's like a dark brown shade and you just kind of comb through your eyebrows and it sets them, it kind of tints them a little bit and I really like using this on days where I don't want to do my eyebrows, like where I really can't be bothered but it kind of, I don't know, if, I feel like it's the lazy person's way to groom their brows. It just kind of makes them look a little bit more done but still natural and I'm really liking wearing less makeup at the moment, especially on like days where Gracie and I are just hanging out. I'm just tending to put on a bit of the Amphilios sun cream and then some of this and that's I'm good to go. Um, but this is really good for, yeah, just making you look like you've put a bit of effort in but still really natural. Next up I have a highlighter stick and I absolutely love highlighters. I think they're probably my favourite part of my makeup routine and this is a new one. It is the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix Highlighting Stick and I've recently been using the um, Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter and I feel like this is a really good dupe in stick form um, and it's obviously a lot cheaper as well so I would definitely recommend this if you like the Becca Champagne Pop highlighter or if you don't want to like splurge out that much for a highlighter this is a really good alternative it's literally just a little stick that you can just swipe across wherever you want to be highlighted and then rub in it's got that really nice kind of like champagne-y colour to it um, I think this one is in the shade Gold Light 
two, two, one, zero. I've just been really enjoying this because it's quick and easy. Any kind of makeup that's quick and easy and I don't need to put much effort into, I'm like, yes, give it to me. Next, I have a shampoo and conditioner by a brand called Curastars. It's a French brand. I've never really heard of these before, but they sent them to my PO box and I really like them. I think they're pretty much all natural products and they're not really very perfumed which I really like because I don't really like really strongly perfumed or scented things I'm quite fussy about that type of thing but I I really like these they just make my hair feel really really clean and I'm trying to wash my hair a little bit less at the moment so like every two to three days because I used to wash it every single day and I just got to the point where I was like oh, I can't be bothered it's too much effort as you can see I'm kind of halfway through these and they're just really lovely really lovely formula um I don't really know what else to say other than the fact that I've just been really enjoying using these and I've been looking forward to using these when I get in the shower the only thing that annoys me about these is that the um the tops are like you have to twist them off, which in the shower is, I don't know, I just find that a bit annoying. I wish they had that like flip cap um, so you could just stick it back on. You've got to kind of like go like that to it, which I don't know why that annoys me, but it just does. I've also tried the hair oil from this brand as well, and that's also really nice. I just don't have it up in my office right now. <laughs> okay, next up I have a couple of um, like independent shops that I've been really, really loving. So the first one I think I mentioned in my like mini office tour is by a um, a brand called Never Perfect Studio who have a really cool little Instagram account and basically the girl who runs it just like hand makes all of this really cute stuff and so she sent me this little wall hanging for my office which is so cute, I'm so into wall hangings right now. I blame Mary Lauren for my obsession with wall hangings right now, but how cute is that? I love it. I think it's really pretty. So that's gonna go up in my office, and yeah, it's just, I think that's such a nice gift for somebody, or just if you've got like a little nook in your house that needs a little something. It's just a really nice shop. I know it's really far away, but she does really nice Christmas bits as well, so yeah. Her shop is one of my favourites this month. My next favourite is really cool, like probably one of the coolest things I've ever received. So one of our viewers made this for us. It's a cross stitch of us. How cool is that? So this girl, I think she's from Tasmania. Her company is called Stitch Folk. I'm going to link it down below. She's got an Etsy shop. But how cool is that? I just think it's really like kitsch and like I can't wait to put this up in the house. I think it's so cute. I wish I could do that. I wish I could make these. Next up I have a perfume and again it is an old favourite and it is the MAC Terquatic. And this is the rollerball one which isn't very good because the rollerball's kind of broken. Um, but I used to wear this all the time when Steph and I were dating over the summer and we found this rollerball like recently and I was like, oh my God, it smells like dating. It just smells like summer, it's incredible. And it's just a really like light, refreshing smell. So I had to chuck this in because I don't know, you know when a smell just reminds you of like a certain period of your life and it was a really nice period of my life. It does look like it's got some things floating in it though. I'm not sure how old this is, um, but it still smells good. I feel like I can't make a favourites video either without mentioning my favourite maternity shop right now, which is Seraphine, and they do the most comfortable maternity clothes ever. Like, seriously, I've just been living in their stuff. They very kindly gifted me a few dresses, and I don't know why I didn't wear their stuff through the whole of my last pregnancy because they're so comfortable. This is actually one of their dresses right now and a lot of the time with maternity wear you kind of feel like it's a little bit like mumsy-ish or like just a little bit granny-ish but they've got some really really nice things and I, I feel like I can still dress like me, like how I want to dress but obviously with a bump which is nice and they've just got some really pretty dresses and just everything's so comfortable. I'm coming to the end now, I promise. I know this has been like a really long rambly favourite. I've got to include this candle as well because look how pretty the jar is. So pretty, it's an anthropology one and they do the best candles. They last for ages, they fill up the whole room, they smell incredible. They are a little bit pricey but they're totally worth it if you're a candle lover and you like to invest in your candles. This one is the, ooh, what's it called? Red. Red berry, this is called, and it basically smells 
like summer. It smells like childhood. It smells like, um, it basically smells a little bit like Ribena slash squash slash summer berries. I don't know, I just love this because it smells a bit like my childhood and it makes me feel a bit nostalgic. And then you've got this beautiful pot afterwards to keep things in. I was going to put some makeup brushes in there or maybe a pen pot or something. I don't know, we'll see. But I saw this on Kate Lavie's Instagram, which is an amazing Instagram account by the way. I'll link to it down below. You need to go and follow her if you don't follow her already because she has the nicest taste in clothes and her home decor is incredible. Like seriously, like lady pad goals. I don't know why I'm still holding this candle, just put it down. Oh and I have two more Instagram accounts that I wanted to mention as well. So one is the double mama. Um, she has three boys and she's a hypnobirth teacher. She's actually gonna be my hypnobirth teacher, which I'm really excited about, but her Instagram account's really cool and her boys are really cute, so I'll link that down below too. And also an account I found, I don't know where this woman is from, I want to say Australia, but the account is called uh, This Simple Folk, I think, or This Simple Folk. And she has these two really cute blonde children, one's a boy and one's a girl. And she shoots the most amazing, like really, really cute photos of them. So if you're into like parenting Instagram accounts, those are two new ones for you to go and follow if you don't follow them already. I feel like that's everything. This favourites was definitely a really, really random one, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. I have a new blog post out as well, so I will link that down below too, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!